And now a word from our sponsors. Okay, guys, you might be asking, what is Okai? Okai is actually an electric scooter company. Okai is a multinational team with more than 17 years of experience. So these scooters are well built. I say we open this bad boy up, actually, and take a look and then get into the future. All right, guys, before I get into all the features about this thing, I just want to say I just took this out the box, and it took me probably like three minutes to set this up. It was very, very, very easy. Literally, you just slide this handlebar into here, and it's very easy. The on button's right here. It came with an easy charger. The charging port's down here i mean this thing is freaking sick this thing tells you right here how much charge it has it has zero because it's been in the box and i just took it out but this is also where you see how fast you're going so that's your speed right there this right here is the gas power button right here it's very easy brake and also my favorite part my favorite feature about this part is this right here it's a little bell that's so funny and dior dior i mean like look at this thing dude it has a full package i mean it has a brake all right, watch out, bro. This thing has brake lights on it, like that. This thing has the full package. So if you want a Kai scooter, make sure you use the links down below in my description. You can use my discount code. There will be a link down below for that as well. Save some money on the scooter. Guys, another feature I really like about this thing is that it has LEDs right here. There's also LEDs that go under this thing. So it's, it's pretty cool with the LEDs. You can actually customize the LED lights on the scooter. You can change it with the Akai app. So all you gotta do is download the Akai app on your mobile device. You can actually unlock the scooter from their app. It's kind of like the electric scooters in your city, but better. And guys, just look at this scooter. This is such like a clean scooter. This handlebar is so clean. Such like, it's so high tech. One thing Akai is known for with their electric scooters is that the suspension on the scooters is actually really great. So you have an amazing ride. And of course, this scooter has an amazing brake system. One for the front and then one for the back wheel. Guys, I don't know about y'all, but y'all know I'm a car channel. So we love power over here you know we love going fast this scooter actually goes up to 16 miles an hour now for a scooter that's super fast guys one charge gets us up to 40 kilometers which is about 24 25 miles of range in one charge guys we all know how expensive gas is nowadays like you just charge this one time and you're good for 24 25 miles and it comes with a kickstand that's so simple when it's up you can't even tell it's a kickstand very convenient too i keep saying another thing i like about this but there's just like what what's not to like but one thing i do like is the grip on this it is very easy to grip it's like i feel very safe on this thing now guys one thing about this scooter is that it is going to run you about 699 us dollars make sure you use the links down below to get the scooter you get a discount code as well so yeah guys make sure you check out akai down below this right here is probably gonna be my favorite part about this scooter and also it's probably gonna be one of your favorite parts too because you can actually actually bring this almost everywhere you go and this is why all you have to do pull this latch down and then boom the handlebar come down and look you just do this and pick it straight up because it automatically locks for you guys like look at this you can take this anywhere and i also love this thing because you can just pull this latch right back down and then boom it comes right back up oh you see the lights over there i just turned it on that's sick Oh yeah, this is nice. Guys, all I'm saying is, is when you buy this sexy thing, please make sure you are wearing a helmet. Akai and me want to make sure y'all are wearing a helmet and being safe so you don't get hurt because this is a fun and safe scooter. This is probably one of my favorite electric scooters I've ever been on. I highly suggest you go and grab yours today at Okai. Okai.co. O-K-A-I.co. Pick up your scooter today. There's different scooters in this one, so you have other options. So I would definitely check this out. Let's get into the video. <laughs> Yes, sir, boys. Today, we're moving the Pagani up because the Bugatti is finally back. Guys, I think the Bugatti's been gone for about, I want to say like seven months. It's been forever. There was like something wrong with the wheels or something. There was like a chip. And then it took forever to get new wheels. They had to order them, then paint. But it just took forever. You know how it is nowadays with the, all the COVID stuff. And stuff just takes forever nowadays. So the Bugatti's finally here. It's about to be here right now. You already know that huge truck is going to come down the street and it's going to be here very soon. We're going to put it right there. Oh, is he revving it a little bit? Ooh. What's up? What's up? What's up? Gotta make room for the Bugatti. I know. It's been how long? Seven months? Something? Six months. Six months. Well, the dude couldn't find the house. So we had to walk down the street. And it looks like he already pulled the car out. Sheesh. Here she is. Uh oh. What is that? Uh oh. We've gotta inspect the whole thing now. Right here, what 
surprised that back here is a loft. Oh my. Is this the 458 destroyer guys? I don't even know. This is this is insane. What what is this doing here? What the heck? I think there's a 488 up there. Oh my gosh. There's another one up there. Oh my gosh. Screw the Bugatti. These are the Ferrari's back. This ain't even ours, but wow. Missed the loss. Well, I guess I'm driving. Thank God we don't gotta go far. Oh my God. Oh. Feels so good to be back in here. Ooh, it's nice. Oh. So nice, I forget. I don't know. Oh, this is so nice. So much smoother than the other cars. It's been so long. So nice. Wow, all the carbon fiber on the door. Jeez. It feels like you just got a new car. It's new. Apparently, that's a thousand miles, on it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, this car. Has been gone for so long. Now it's gonna be right next to the Koenigsegg, the new Pagani. Oh my gosh. This feels like you just got a new car. This is so freaking crazy. Gosh, that idle is so loud and deep. Woo! Well, guys, it took us about 20 or 30 minutes to find the freaking charger. Finally got it. Matter of fact, you wanna make a little bit of money today? I mean, I'm always down to make some money. Okay. A couple things you can do today. What's here? One, two, three hopper cars. Pull them right out here and just put some water on and wipe them down. <laughs> it's crazy because when you're looking for the charger, I was like, I kind of want to clean them today. Yeah, and then put the covers on. Second thing, you know that shop out there that Esteban has with the, the lawnmower? Mm -hmm. It looks like crap. The grass? No, no. Inside the shop. Inside the <laughs> shop. Pull everything out, sweep all that shit out of there, get it clean, <laughs> organize it, hang stuff up on the side. All right. Sounds like a plan. In between those three cars and that shit. I mean, you can do it all in a day. Oh, yeah, I can do it in an hour. Too. No, I ain't gonna be in an hour. <laughs> Take next fair price. 20000 <laughs> It's gonna look like $20,000 was worked on. I know exactly what to use to clean. You probably don't even know this is in here. I didn't either because I just saw it. Fabric and leather clean, glass clean, tire gloss, ceramic shampoo. Wow, that's on you if you want to do all that. Yeah, I was just talking about putting some water on there and wiping them. Oh, okay. Well, you wanted to, it was $20,000. All right, guys, so today's vlog was gonna be, you know, getting the Bugatti off the trailer, you know, film that, but the truck driver did that himself. I don't think he was supposed to, but it was fine. I was gonna film around with all the cars outside and probably drive them all or something. I don't know what I was gonna do just quite yet. Now it looks like we gotta clean. We gotta clean this shed. And yeah, that's gonna be today's vlog, I guess. I probably won't even film doing the shed because I probably don't wanna see that, but, but we're gonna pull the cars out, you know, give the cars a wash. And no, I'm not getting $20,000 to do this. I wish. Now it's time to take all of these cars out of the garage, into the sunlight, and we're gonna get these things clean. These things haven't been washed in so long. We're cleaning them because when me and my dad walked in here earlier, we were like, wow, these things are really dusty. Let's get these things pulled out of the garage. All right, guys, we just pulled the Bugatti out. Now, I don't know if y'all, some of y'all are new to the channel or not. This is the 2020. I thought it was a 2019. Like, God, I swear for the past, like, two years since I've been doing YouTube, I swear I've been saying this is a 2019. I think I just found out this morning that it was a 2020. But I thought it was a 2019, but it's a 2020. Bugatti Chiron Sport. As you can tell, Chiron Sport. This thing is freaking insane. Honestly, ridiculous. This is a Batmobile. Like, this wing comes up. I mean, this car. I think this is my favorite car. It's so hard with the Koenigsegg and the Pagani because those are like also one of one. This is basically one of one because of the colorway. All those specs over there are one of one. So it's just, it's so hard to choose a favorite. But I think this has got to be my favorite. I mean, it's a freaking Bugatti Chiron. Like, just the name itself is just like. Don't get me wrong. The Koenigsegg and the Pagani, those things are literally work of art. This is probably one of my most favorite spec bugattis ever i'm not just saying that because it's my dad's but i mean like, tell me if i'm wrong yes guys this is the interior i know some of y'all have already seen this a thousand times but like you can't get over this interior all this blue interior this blue is called bugatti blue this is just ridiculous it got all the carbon fiber in here it's just so crazy i think the last time i drove this car was with pretty boy fredo 1500 horsepower guys i think it's funny most people ask like what engine they say like is it a b12 is it a v8 it's funny because it's nowhere close guys this engine is a w16 no i don't know what that means either 
1500 horsepower just like i said guys i don't know about y'all but right now how i'm feeling with this bugatti being here i feel like i'm back I feel like the video's about to be going crazy i got a bunch of stuff planned with the bugatti i got so much fun stuff planned i'm so hyped the bugatti literally just changed my whole mood like i feel like i'm on go mode now like we finna go crazy these videos i got a bunch of pranks to do Shh. make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the bell button make sure you follow me on instagram at gg exotics this car is honestly my favorite but guys let's get to cleaning in three two one all right guys we're gonna just do this the old-fashioned way and do a soap and a water hose let it go <sighs> guys you know what would be perfect right now some sweet tea or some lemonade and a bunch of bad females and some bathing suits and soap everywhere Dang, maybe I should open up a car wash like that. Maybe I should do that for a video. <laughs> We're gonna put the ceramic shampoo on there now and get this thing all soapy, I guess. All right. There we go, it looks a little soapy. It's all pretty cleaned up so far. I just did water and soap, kind of just gave it a quick little wash. Yeah, this thing is about to be clean as soon as I get it dried up. Best way to dry off Bugatti Chiron. You might hate me, but guess what? I don't care. You get a leaf blower. That's what I'm talking about. Now, y'all might hate me, but I don't care because this thing is saving me so much time. See all that water? That probably took me like two hours to do. We finally finished the Bugatti though, but she's honestly just beautiful. Finally done. Guys, I'll tell you this right now. Matte black, probably the best looking car when it's clean. Black cars are very hard to keep clean, so. Guys, say you had a Koenigsegg and a Bugatti, same spec, these two, same car sitting right in front of you right now. And my dad just said, hey, choose one, you could take it and have it for the rest of your life. Which car are you taking and why? Leave a comment down below. Personally, me, I think I'm gonna have to go with Bugatti because I mean, you could like literally daily drive that car. That car are so reliable and it's so smooth. I don't like how I can just talk about those cars and turn around and then there's a freaking one of one Pagani right behind me. Like, okay, guys, I guess out of these three cars, what are you taking and why? Well, we got the Pagani out. This car does not ever fail in the sun. Never fails ever, honestly. But fully exposed carbon fiber, 20th year anniversary. You got the gray, gold, and blackish, silverish carbon fiber. You got the freaking roof scoop up there. This car is literally insane. Oh my gosh, this car does not fail at all. You got the purple exhaust pipe. Oh, I don't even know if I said this in the last video or not. I don't know if I did. The C10. My dad just sent the spec in for the C10. What is it called? Or maybe the Jesco. I don't even know. I might. I don't know if I'm even supposed to say this. Dad, don't get mad at me, but part of it might be orange in another color apparently it's going to be a two-tone colorway so i don't know if i'm allowed to say that but i'm gonna say it. <sighs> i guess time to wash this car let's get to it in three two one <laughs> bro look how clean this is bro i think it's time to get some soap on this bad boy we used some dish soap because we didn't really have, we ran out of the other soap and my dad told me to use some dish, dish soap, so. That looks so good. Oh, some nice soap on a nice car. Can never go wrong. On a hot day in Texas, can never go wrong. Alright guys, the Pagani is complete. Let me know what y'all think. How did I do? How did I do with the dish soap? Yeah guys, she is nice and cleaned up. Rims are looking nice. Calipers looking nice. It's looking pretty pristine if you ask me. I mean, the car rims glistening. Wow, this view is crazy. I honestly parked it just to come in front of the house because that view is crazy. Now it's time to pull the Koenigsegg out. You already know the drill at this point. Guys, I've been doing this for like, I don't even know how long. Like, you know what actually sucks? Is I bet y'all forgot, because I, I forgot, is I still got to clean that damn shed in the back. Time to get the Koenigsegg key out. Guys, I want y'all's opinion real quick. Guys, I'm sorry this video is kind of long. I think it's a long video. Let me know what y'all think about these keys. What is, what? what's your favorite key? I don't know. Like the, the Koenigsegg key is cool. But you can't open doors with this key. I think I'm going to go with this key. Just because it sticks onto the car and you can open the doors, the charger. This is kind of just, you know, lock and unlock. That's basically it. But then it's the car. See, like, look, I had the Koenigsegg charging button and then it closes the charging thing. Pagani can't do that. And then the door. Like, come on now. Like, come on now. Hey, it's pretty nice. You can't complain. No, you can't complain. I just did a TikTok video. If you haven't followed my TikTok, make sure you do that down below. I did like a little, uh, 
car review on how to start this thing up and the door and stuff. It's at 1.9 million views right now. I ain't hit a million views on YouTube yet, but that was my first million video. That will be two million. That's pretty cool, man. A little pat on the back. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get this pulled out. Boom. Guys, this car is insane. Like I've been saying for the other past two cars, if you're new to my channel, this is the Koenigsegg Regera 2021, I believe. I, I be forgetting the dates of these cars. I don't. I don't know the years of these cars. This is gonna be a cool car to clean. This is gonna be awesome. This car is literally a bust down masterpiece. Shout out to baby. All right, let's get this thing clean in three, two, one. You already know dish soap. We were, holy. Shit. Bruh. Bro, that's why you can never leave this key in your pocket. This soap. Let's go. Oh, yeah. She's soapy. She's soapy. I mean, look at that. Now, that's good soap right there. I feel like this video just turned into a whole car wash video, which I guess it kind of is, but it was supposed to be basically just a Bugatti video. Every child knows when your parents offer you money to go clean some cars, you gonna go out there and clean that damn car. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna put the camera down, and I guess I'll see y'all back when I get that damn leaf blower. All right, guys, I think we have finally came to an end of the car wash. I still gotta get that shed. That'll probably be like 20 seconds of this video. Who wants to see that? Nobody. But, guys, it was fun washing these cars. And guys, I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice for like the second time the past two weeks. But the cars are done. They're looking crispy clean. Yeah, here they are. It's all lined up in front of the house. Jeez, looking pretty freaking amazing, if you ask me, guys. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know how I did. Pagani is complete. There's some like dried up water I need to get up. It's looking pretty freaking good, man. No more dust, no more dust. Thank God they're finally clean. Carbon fiber is completely shining on this thing. Last but not least, the Bugatti Chiron, guys. Guys, when's the last time we got a thumbnail or something with this Bugatti in front of this house? Guys, it's starting to bring back memories. That blue is popping. Let me know what y'all think about the Bugatti. I mean, it's kind of already getting dirty again just because it's freaking matte black, but you can just never go wrong with that interior. I didn't clean the interior today. He didn't ask me to. The interiors are pretty much always clean every time, but house is looking good. Pugani's looking good. Pugani's looking good. Kung Sai's looking good. Now it's time to go make that shed look good, so let's go. The driveway was right over there. We're in the back now. I never really filmed back here, but this is the shed. My camera died. That's all on my phone, by the way. I'm about to take everything out and sweep. Three, two, one, boom. She is done. Guys, I'm not even lying when I say this. A bird literally just took a shit on the car. I mean, my luck is just out of there. The rolls doesn't look bad next to Bugatti. That's a little dirty too. Nah, <laughs> nah. $10 million in those four cars right there. Sheesh. Half, three and a half, that's four million. Four and a half, that's eight and a half. Oh damn, it's 11. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. My bad. Twelve million. <laughs> I missed about two million bucks. <laughs> Jeez. Night can I say? Me and my boys, we be serving Bugattis. You know we got that from GG Exotic. And I'm spending the check, but I make a deposit. Hard in the cut, cause I feel like a rock. Copping some v and put on my back. I fell in love with running up the racks. I'm making money like every day.